today we're uh, driving to Willy Howe, the burial mound in between Wald Newton and Burton Fleming. And uh, if Mary turns camera, we might be able to get a look at this as we approach. And it's there, that small group of trees. Difficult to know if the camera will pick it up from that distance, but uh, that's Willy Howe, Neolithic burial mound. It's thought to be three and a half to four thousand years old and the site of many many mysterious stories it's a fascinating place and that we're going to have a look at it today we'll just pull the car on and drive up to the mound now so if you can so it's a sharp bend on our left where we're going to just veer off and go up to the burial mound which go and we should be able to see the mound on our left in a moment and, uh, just wind the window down can you see that Mary and that is Willie Howe how good is that absolutely incredible now I'm going to just reverse the car in and wait here for two minutes this private road keep out so I'm not going to go in so this is the Neolithic burial mound of Willy Howe probably the most iconic burial mound in all of the United Kingdom I would say with stories of hops and goblins and strange fairy folk attached to it so it's a fascinating place and you know in the late 1800s it was excavated by Canon Greenwell who excavated many of the burial mounds and earthworks around East and North Yorkshire and this one stuck out in his mind and created a more of an impression on him than any of the others before or after and he said it had got a rare presence to it So I've just come to this side of the, the burial mound because the wind is absolutely appalling. And I was speaking about Canon Greenwell in the late 1800s excavating the burial mound. And he found no burial goods interned within it. But it left a massive impression on, on this man. Who had excavated and looked into many earthworks around eastern North Yorkshire. And like I said before, there's many stories of the strange and unusual attached to it. And I'd just like to relay one now from the 12th century it was retold by a man called William of Newbury in the 12th century that's over 900 years ago and the story probably goes back hundreds of years before that and it told of a man who had been traveling home from one of the nearby villages well there's two villages that sit between Willie Howe and that is Wald Newton and Burton Fleming and he'd been to visit friends so we assume he'd have been drinking perhaps beer or wine and coming home late in the night and as he's riding home on horseback he sees an opening in the mound and it's all lit up full of iridescence and luminosity coming out from the mound and being of an inquisitive nature he rode on his horse to the edge of the mound and looked inside and he could see a great banqueting hall laden with the finest of foods and within it there were hobs, goblins and elving type beings all seated and having merriment one of the merry party see the man sat on horseback looking in and step forward and he offers him a drink from a very unusual looking cup with a strange luster or so the story goes but this man's wise enough not to accept drink 
from the fae, from fairy folk, realising or understanding that he could become enslaved to these little beings or be taken away to their world and never be seen again. Such was the custom and the traditions that were sort of inbuilt into people. He accepted the cup that was offered to him and poured away the contents and then galloped away as fast as he could on his horse. Much to the anger and surprise of the party within the burial mound who were said to have poured outside of the burial mound and pursued him. He made it to the neighbouring village with the cup still in his hand. What's interesting about this story for myself is that the cup did exist. Whether it came from the burial mound of Willie Howe or not is debatable, but the cup did exist. And it was given to Henry I, the then King of England. And it was then later given to one of the kings of Scotland. And then it seems to have slipped away into the mists of time as regards the origin of where this cup disappeared to. But that's just one story of many that originate from the burial mound of Willie Howe. There are other accounts. There's accounts of strange spheres of light that are seen. There's an account of treasure seekers many years ago, and it's all hollowed out there, digging into the mound, and a, a large chest is said to have been found. And upon opening the chest, a huge black cat with glowering black eyes is said to have sprang forth from the chest and sat on top of it, obviously stopping anybody gaining entry. So just a story from Willie Howe. I hope you like what we're talking about. And if you do, please feel free to press the like and subscribe. It's totally free and it helps us support the channel. I'd just like to say thank you very much and goodbye. <laughs>